What's happening, fam? LA, all moving, still moving. Calling yourself nigga is a form of self hate. You know, we talk about other people. We, talk, we as men talk about our women's form of self hate. You know, the hair, the eyes, the 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 the, the coloring, and all that. The the sometimes we talk about self hate as in the the voice changing, stuff like that. Well, calling yourself nigga every five minutes and or you know is a form of self hate too. There there are a lot of us who just don't run around recklessly doing that, you know, and there are a lot of us who are just recklessly doing that. The problem is we tr we in our community have love passing the buck, you know, if if if. If young kids are young and ignorant, we want to act as though they just got ignorant by, you know, osmosis. Like, nobody ever taught them to be that ignorant, which is a damn lie. You taught them to be ignorant, and then they go out in public ignorant, and then you go, which is a, another form of self-hate because, to a degree, we have an issue with, I don't know. Don't let them white people see you like, don't let them white people look at you like that. Don't go out there and be acting a fool in front of them white people. That's who you worried about? Really? You gotta be, you, fuck white people. Like, fuck everybody. See, like, seriously. I don't, fuck, fuck them all. They don't give a fuck about me, so I don't give a fuck about them. You know, I'm talking about in a group scenario. You know, people are people. You know, they're good people, they're bad people. But as a group, they don't give a fuck about us. None of these groups give a fuck about us. So why are we out there? Don't act like you got some sense in front of them. You, 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 you kind of saying you're you you're ignorant. So don't act ignorant in front of them. Just act ignorant in front of us because we're ignorant too. Like fake it till you make it type shit. No. For all of us who don't use that word, we kind of like, I don't want to say don't use it, but what I'm going to say is we're not really, that's not, you know, every, every, I'm not walking up on brothers with something like, hey, my, yeah, my, nah, 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 I got out of that years ago. I was, I, not even in high school, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I just. When you have respect for yourself, you don't go around disrespecting yourself. And this is why I say it's a form of self-hate. Because people defend it like people defend women calling themselves bitches and hoes. Knowing that if you call yourself a bitch or a hoe, then it kind of gives me a license to treat you like a bitch or a hoe. And for you to ask for respect when you can't even treat yourself with, kind of, with any kind of respect is asinine. But at the same token, it's very self-destructive just like Drug addicts. I have the right to 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 put all this this all this um, heroin and cocaine and methamphetamines and prescription drugs and alcohol and weed and I just got a right to just do whatever I want to my body. It's my body. I got a right to destroy it if I want. Yes, you do. But here's the problem: when you destroy your body. Why does it have to affect you fighting to destroy yourself, for one? So, just end it all. How about that? Just cut the middleman out and just end it all. But past that, you're involving everybody in your self-destruction. So, you want them to see you destroy yourself and not say a word. You want them to see you deteriorate and not say a word. You want them to come pick you up when you hit rock bottom. You want them to save you, call a, call a ambulance, you know, well, call the medics to come get you if you OD. You want them to see you in rehab and come out of rehab and get go back and get addicted. See, you destroying yourself does not, is not a solo act. And the way we run around recklessly, as, as a bunch of our people are running around recklessly, calling each other nigga and calling ourselves nigga, then... You're affecting us all. Now, I bring it up because Outside the Lines had a special on 
the NFL banning the word, finding you for using it. And it only, and I, and I want people to understand something. See, the thing about this Jonathan Martin, Richie Incognito bullying thing that's why this happened is at the end of the day, it fucked with the money. See, not, and it's that bad. And as a people, we got to understand something. It's that bad when people don't mind calling us the word. And they don't mind us calling each other that word. But when it fucks with the money, then they're going to say, look, we're going to make it cost you money if you, call your, if you call yourself that from now on. Because you fucked up my money. That should be a clear, blatant statement that they never cared about you to begin with. And also, we are far gone to have somebody else have to tell us that that's not us, that it's no good. And for us to say, oh, we'll fall in line with that. Do you know how many black men have told other black men, stop, stop doing that, man. Stop saying that. I can say what I want. So now, once again, it's that house, it's a house Negro mentality. Oh, them people told me I can't say it now, so I'm not going to say it no more because it's going to cost me. It, not saying it now is technically a good thing, but what's technically a bad thing is that when they tell you to stop disrespecting yourself, now you're going to stop? So you need somebody who's non-black to, to clear you on when to not, to, or when to start respecting yourself. And people who don't care about you to begin with. And if you want to blame it on hip hop, whatever. Hip hop didn't invent the word. But I do hate to see artists running around recklessly. I mean, I don't understand how you got people 20, 30, 40, pushing 50. Just still, just still doing it. Like, oh, yeah, artists going out on tour just. Still doing it. And the funny part about it is, that's how we generationally get worse because we're teaching the younger generation how ignorant to be and then acting like they're too far gone. I'm out, man. It's, it's stupid.